What's up, play? Welcome back to the channel. If you're not a real one already, my name is Daja Ima. So as you guys can see, today I'm gonna be giving y'all a little tour of my little at-home office or whatever. So as y'all can see, you know, I am blessed to be one of those people who get to work from home. I never have to leave my house. All I gotta do is roll out of bed and hop on my desk. I am so happy for that. That is something I really, really wanted in life because commuting is a pain, especially when you live in Atlanta, a place with a lot of traffic and a lot going on. People love getting in accidents here. Like that's a hobby, getting in a car accident. If you haven't gotten a car accident, what you doing? I've gotten in three. I wasn't at fault for none of them, but I've gotten in three, unfortunately, because people can't drive. But anyway, so I felt like this will be a really great video, not just, oh my God, look at my cool office tour, but I think mine is great because it's very simple and very basic. And I'm gonna explain to y'all why I chose not to create my at-home office with a whole bunch of bells and whistles and aesthetic and decor and all that. Like, it's gonna make sense. Like, y'all might be looking at this and be like, girl, this boring ass office desk. Like, this is all you could do? I'm gonna tell y'all why I have a very simple and minimalistic office and why you should too, okay? Especially for somebody like me. I'm, I'm just getting to the tour. So let's get started on everything that's at the office and then I'm explaining to y'all why it's so goddamn basic at the end of the video. Cause I feel like that's gonna really tie in the purpose of this tour. Not just, hey y'all look at my desk and look at my computer and stuff, like, no. I'm uh, Hopefully that this will give you guys um, for those of you who are wanting to, you know, hopefully this will give you guys an idea of how to, you know, set up your office desk and why you should set it up. Um, because the way your office desk is set up, it shouldn't just be basically based off of aesthetic, but it should also be based off of, like, are you able to even work in your workspace or do you just have a whole bunch of shit there just because you wanted it to look cute? Like, boo. L let's, let's get into it, okay? Talk about, let's just start with the most obvious, my computers. Fortunately, my job provided the computers, the desk, and the chair. I love my job. Um, I work in marketing. If you guys want a separate video on my job, how I got my job, all that good stuff, I can give y'all a video on that because my job is clutch. Um, I'm not going to tell y'all where I work, but I can tell y'all how I got in my industry. If you are interested in marketing, especially if you're a recent grad, I got y'all on marketing tips. So let's get into this. So I have computers. I have two monitors and a laptop. I have Dell. Um, because Windows works best for me. So my job, actually, um, I had the option to choose. I had the option to choose if I just wanted a laptop, if I just wanted one monitor, if I just wanted two monitors, if I wanted Mac, um, or if I wanted Windows. I personally chose Windows because I feel like I work better with Windows. I've used Windows majority of my life, and it's just better for me. I could have got Apple and had two MacBooks and a laptop or whatever the case may be, but I wanted Windows, so that's what I chose. Um, some people at my job have Apple, some of them have Windows like me, it just all depends. So I have those and then I also have a laptop stand as well as a keyboard and a uh, mouse. Um, for working at home and when you have to work, like when I tell you having two monitors, first when my job, first let me say this, when my job was like do you want one or two monitors, I was being greedy like shit, so if they ask for two monitors, I mean if they ask when I want two monitors, I'ma just take them, like shit, I'm probably not gonna use them. Baby, I don't know how I was working on one laptop screen my whole life like the t when I tell you you need two monitors you need two monitors don't get them if you don't need them if you can't afford it obviously I didn't pay for this shit this was provided by my job but for what I do one monitor was not gonna work it just was not gonna work like I don't know how I was doing social media and things of that nature prior to this with just one monitor but it wasn't working boo so I'm thankful that I have three monitors to work with at my job. It definitely helps me do my job a lot, a lot better. Um, especially, you know, when you're in Zoom calls and things of that nature and you gotta share your screen and you gotta do, okay, let me do this over here. Having that one screen, it's not gonna work. But it can get tricky trying to determine where the mouse is or on which screen or the case may be, but I love having three screens. It helps my productivity so much. And it's just aesthetically pleasing versus just, if I was just to have one laptop or one monitor just sitting here, this look cute. Okay, first thing. I did was I just set up everything so I just set up all of my my computers my laptop and all that and I worked with this space for a month before I decided on decor here's why when you just go out and buy a whole bunch of things for your computer and for your your um, desk based off of aesthetic you may end up cluttering your office space as well as having not having what you need 
So when you just go and be like, oh, this looks, this will be cute on my desk, or this will be cute, a cute monitor, a cute chair, you not necessarily think about what you, what do you use your office space for? How often and how long are you sitting at your office? What do you usually grab when you are working? Think about that. So I recommend at least working in your office space for a month before you go ham on stuff. So like for example, say you're determining, you know, say you don't even have a desk or a chair yet. Work at like your dining room table and see usually what you have at your dining room table, what you bring when you are working. And then you can be like, okay, when I need to get an office space, I probably am going to need this type of mouse or this type of I'm going to need a coaster because I'm usually getting something to drink. I'm probably going to need drawers because I'm filing a lot of stuff and printing a lot of things. Think of like the way you work before you just start buying shit because this is cute or this looks cool. If you are somebody who prefers to stand, invest in a standing desk. I'm very fortunate that this desk does go up. I can use it as a standing desk. I don't work like that but I have that option if the opportunity presented itself. So make sure you are thinking about how do you work at your space before you purchase items for your workspace. So I use this cocoon thing that I used to use as a makeup artist that stuck all my like lipsticks and pencils and things of that nature. And I used it to hide the wires. I'm not a professional at this, so it's the best way I can get it to look. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say about that. But it it, it looks much better than what it looked like before and I just don't want to get in a situation where I actually kick my feet when I accidentally kick my feet under there and I unplug something and I didn't save the project so make sure you try to do something to hide your wires if you're interested in this cocoon I would definitely leave it in the description box below um, but what I did was I used command strips to stick it underneath the desk and then you know inserted the wires in there to make it look you know as neat as possible as I could possibly look next thing you want at your office desk is a surge protector. The outlet in your wall ain't gonna cut it. Even if you do just have one computer. You probably got a laptop, um, you probably got your computer, you probably gotta charge your devices, you just never know what you're gonna be using at your desk. So definitely invest in a surge protector. You will need it, trust me. Next, I always keep sticky notes with me. I am someone who writes, who likes to write notes versus typing it on like a Google Doc or something. So I always keep sticky notes in a notebook at my office at all times. I, that's necessary for me. Sometimes you don't got time to, you know, go into a file and click it. Sometimes a, an idea just pops up in your head and you just need to put it down. So I to get a cute little coaster. If you're a coffee drinker, if you're a water drinker, a tea drinker, get you a cute little coaster to go on your little desk. I got this cute one from a, a um, black owned designer. She does resin and I think this is just so cute. Like I got a four piece of them and they kind of like go into a circle. Get you a cute little coaster It'll make your desk look so cute. And like I said, I only have one decor piece because I needed something to help me with my fidgety times and things of that nature. Um, so if you are interested in this desk and this chair, it is from the Autonomous brand. I will leave that in the description box below. Even though I was provided this with my by my employer, I highly recommend this. It's expensive, but it's such great quality. Like this desk and this chair is never gonna break. And you can put anything on it, you can sit in this chair and with any way and it's bomb. Like I, you are so comfortable in this chair and this desk is literally all the space you need. I also don't have an extremely large desk because I feel like that gives you more room to put a whole bunch of shit on it. You don't know, want no little ass desk but you don't need a ginormous work desk. Like you, you going to have way more things at your desk and a lot more going on than what you even bought your office space for if you get such a large desk. Get it big enough to, it fits all of your needs and then you have space to breathe, honey. You need space to breathe, okay? Let's breathe, honey. So that basically completes my office desk tour. I hope it was helpful. Um, like I said, I keep it very simple because you do not want to get in a habit of bringing your personal life to your work life. Just because you work at home don't mean you can't separate your work from your personal life. It's still You still have to have those boundaries. Still give yourself breaks away from work, close the tabs, walk away, shut the laptop, do something. But don't live at your desk and live in your work just because it's in your house, just because it's in your bedroom, your kitchen, your dining room. You can still separate your work from your job. You can still separate your job from your personal life. What am I saying? So that's that's basically my workspace. I hope you guys, you know, were inspired to keep it simple, okay? There's a reason why simplicity when it comes to work works. Like it's just much, you are such a better functioning human being when you don't have clutter. And I'm not a minimalist person. Like the rest of my house is the, is the cord up, boo. But when it comes to work, 
I needed to keep it simple and, and keep it cute. So if this was helpful, let me know. How do you how do you organize your desk? Is your desk is your work office in your bedroom? Mine is in my bedroom. Is yours in your dining room? Do you have an own office bed, or like an old office room? Like is you balling? Let me know. If you guys want more office tips or like I said, if you guys want tips on marketing, I got y'all. Like let me know in the description box. I'm gonna get y'all right. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. In the meantime, boo. If you ain't subscribed, I don't know what your problem is. Like, you should have been did that. Like, we black bougie on a budget over here, boo. And don't forget to watch these other videos and, you know, my playlist. Because I know you ain't got nothing else better to do. Like... <laughs>